Welcome to my guide on the top five modifications that I think you should do if you've got an armor in fraction. It is one of the hottest RC cars out there in a the minute, but I do not just mean in terms of speed. It also gets very hot under the skin in several places. So let's get straight down to point number one, the ESC. As standard, Armour provide the Armour Infraction with the BLX 185 ESC, 150, 160 amps. The car struggles, I'm sorry Armour, to get through 10, 12 minutes of running flat out before that ESC overheats. If you've not got an Armour Infraction yet, guys, and you buy one, you will find that is the case. What I would recommend, therefore, is immediately fitting a Castle XLX ESC. Now this ESC will take 400 amps versus 150, 160 on this one. This means on 6S, this thing will run all day long. You can donut the thing, you can do high speed runs and it's not gonna overheat at all. But there is also one huge thing in this thing's favor is it takes up to 8S power. So you can fit an 8S motor on it as opposed to the stock armor one, which runs on 6S. So you can up the gearing, you can up the speed, you can up the whole performance of the car, and yet the thing will run with the fan on there all day long without overheating. That is why my number one upgrade for the armor infraction has to be the ESC. Ditch the BLX 185, buy a Castle XLX, fit that instead. Now when it comes to armor infraction modifications, number two has to be the radio. The stock one, is not too bad at all to my mind, the Spectrum DX2E. However, the faster you make the car go, the quicker this radio is gonna run out of range. As stock, it is struggling with about 300 meters on there. If you think that is not too much of an issue, Google just how much 100 miles an hour is in feet per second, and you will realize this 300 meter range is not that great. Comes in the very cheap form of this radio from Banggood. Cheap, $30, what you must be kidding Rich. This thing has got a range of over 500 meters, guys. It's got a built in gyro, so you've got a similar function to the ABC on the car. Not only that, things got bad out of shape under braking. This thing has got ABS braking. Oh, so you can brake, at 90 miles an hour but instead of skidding with this radio the car will turn in exactly the direction you are wanting it to so my second thing to upgrade on the armor infraction guys would be the radio a bargain at $30 well that includes a six channel receiver with a built-in gyro and ABS braking anyway for the next bit of this video guys we need to take a closer look inside the car that's because the Castle XLX ESC won't exactly fit in the standard compartment that uh, Armour had the original ESC sitting in. So you need to get a bracket to mount it above the car. So it mounts in the cab section of the pickup on there. Thus enable it to stay nice and cool. And with this bracket guys, not only does it sit above the red strut brace, but you will also note with this mounting plate, you can access the sliding screws on the uh, motor mount in order to change the pinion easily. Just remember guys, if you like what you see today, don't forget to subscribe. Anyway, moving on to point number three, which is motor fans. They are the third upgrade I would make to the car. Once you've upgraded the ESC, you're potentially just shifting the heat problem to the motor on here. You will see I've got an upgraded 8S motor fitted to the car, but it is running twin fans. I would highly recommend running twin fans on your stock 6S setup, which is nice and simple, and both of them will run off of the receiver power without any problems at when all. it comes to point number four, in terms of upgrades, is it the ESC? Well, if you're able to run an ESC that can deliver 400 amps, then you might as well fit an 8S motor, which is capable of handling those. Yours truly has got a Poseidon 1800 kV motor, which just squeezes in to the millimeter on there before it butts up against the front suspension. This thing generates under full throttle with the 8S power, 5.2 horsepower, which in this thing is absolutely frightening. Put these things in order. First of all, the SC, that's gonna give you extra speed. So you're gonna need the radio for the extra distance. Then you're gonna need the fans because the motor is running warmer. And point number four is the motor itself. If you're running an ESC, 
like the XLX that's capable of handling 8S power, then you might as well run 8S batteries in here. So you might as well run an 8S motor. So that would be point number four, is upgrade your motor to one capable of running 8S. Poseidon 1800 kV motor fits in to the millimeter and delivers 5.2 horsepower. And lastly, why not upgrade and fit a cap pack on here? So you've got real estate to put a cap pack in here for delivering that extra power for those high speed runs with your armor in fraction. So there we have it. When it comes to the top five armor in fraction mods, I would say guys, first of all, upgrade the ESC because there's a one thing that is getting too hot with the stock car, then the radio because once the ESC is running well, the car's gonna be running well, it's gonna go faster, it's gonna be going out of range of the stock radio on there. So next thing, upgrade the radio. That Banggood one, $30, 500 meters, cheapest chips. Next mod, point number three, would be the fans. I would highly recommend fitting the year rating twin fans, which Tony from CCXRC did on his infraction. Seems to keep the thing nice and cool. I used a couple of spare fans I had handy on the motor, on this AS one. Keeps it nice and cool, but I would go with Tony's recommendation on the air racing one. Motor, what can I say guys? The Poseidon 1800 kV motor I got from JJ Customs squeezes in to the millimeter. Literally, millimeter longer, that motor wouldn't fit in the car. It will handle the AS power that the XLX can also handle, giving you up to 5.2 horsepower. And in a car this small, that is absolutely frightening amount of power on full throttle, guys. In a car this size, 5.2 horsepower is plenty enough. And lastly, the cat pack from JJ Customs. That cat pack handles up to 12S. We've got 8S setup on here. It just smooths out that ripple at the top end, stops the car hesitating, like, oh, just getting full throttle, and it just hesitates and gives you an extra 5 10 miles an hour of punch on there. But point number six, guys, I've run out of fingers, would be upgrade the body to one like this. Thanks for watching, guys. That's my top five armor and fraction modifications. Well, thumbs up if you like this video, guys. Post any comments you might have in the comment section below the video and hit the circle below to subscribe. And if you do hit the circle, don't forget to hit the bell. Well, for all your go fast armor infraction needs, guys, then don't hesitate to contact JJ Customs in San Jose.